Welcome aboard. You're joining your debt-free travelers, Dwight and Annette, military veterans who traveled in service of our nation. Now we're traveling in a different capacity, whether or not it's camping, traveling across the United States to traveling internationally, we want to share our journey with you. This is our journey to Sandals Curacao. I hope you enjoy. All right, we've landed in Sandals Curacao. We are so excited to get to our Sandals shuttle so that we can enjoy what Curacao has to offer. I really love the Welcome to Curacao sign. Look at the sun, and that's exactly what we are looking to enjoy, the sun and the beach. So right after that sign to the right is the Sandals shuttle location all the way at the end. You can't miss it. It's a big sign that says Welcome to Sandals. So you head down there and they will call off your name and take you out to the shuttle that's waiting for you. So this was our transportation. It was an air conditioned bus and you can charge your phone if you need to. This was some of the scenery that we saw. Curacao was made up with of a lot of these hills and mountains. It was a very beautiful sight to see. Once we arrived to Sandals, we were greeted by the staff there. We were so excited to visit this brand new location. So here are some of the things that we viewed while we were there. And as you can see, the staff is already walking out to greet us. So when we entered the club sandals, they gave us the signature blue curacao mixed drink that we enjoyed. We sat down, you know, after that long day of travel and waited for them to call our name and get our orientation started. But this was an overview of club sandals. It does depend on the room that you have, whether or not this is the entrance that you get. Any questions you have? I'm the right person. Okay. On our left, we will have the lobby area. In the lobby area we have the lobby desk which is open 24-7. We are open from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. but in case you need any assistance after 10 they'll be more than happy to see you. Are you right? You will have a short shop. So anything you want to bring back home as a memory here's the place you can get. On our left you will have the loyalty and travel department. from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. and then they will start with the shows down there at the beach from 9 till 11. But every day they have a different show and different activities. The television in the lobby shows you what they have throughout the whole week. Okay? Down here, these cabanas down here, you can rent them as well. You will get a cabana concierge, just like us in the lounge, to assist you with anything that you need at the pool. The only two things that you will have to do is go swim or go to the bathroom. Because even food and drinks, you will get it right there. Or the bathroom swim. <laughs> that can also help, yes, of course. I'm just saying. You're right. You're right. <laughs> the lobby, 
in this resort is located at the floor level 3. Okay. So when we go to the elevator, the lobby will be floor level 3 and the beach. The second number is the floor and the two last digits are the number. For breakfast, we have three options. Those are Pietra, Bucis, and Aeolos. Okay. okay. Bucis and Aeolos is a la carte, and Pietra is buffet. Okay. Pietra is down just below the lobby, and all of them are open from 8 a.m. till 11. Okay. For breakfast. Pietra is a very important restaurant because it's open for breakfast. Open for lunch, open for dinner, and also open for late night friends. Okay. From 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Okay. All right, that was the orientation. Now, welcome to our room. Now, this was an amazing room. I loved every aspect of it. The staff came every day to replenish our towels, to clean the room, make up our bed. It was one of the best sandals resorts that we have been to thus far, and the view was amazing. Check it out, the view from the inside and outside. We got all settled in we wanted to see what sandals had to offer so we took a walk of the grounds as you can see from here our room is right there and right when you turn around the beach is right outside our room so we were extra hungry so we were heading to the food trucks and this is what we saw on the way there I do want to note right here that the shaded areas on the beach were few and far between. The trees uh, did not shade every single spot. So Dwight had to wake up at six or seven o'clock in the morning to go snatch one of those prime seating areas. So just keep that in mind. Right here is the infinity pool. It consisted of two sections, a smaller infinity pool to the back and this larger one here. 
these individuals had a great view. They could look right out onto the beach while hanging out in the pool. And there's also a bar there as well. Again, we're still on our way to the food trucks, which is a little ways down at the opposite end of the resort. the food trucks every day after leaving the beach it was amazing food they had shrimp they had burgers they had vegan options so it's all here in the food truck area here's one of the meals that we got on one of the days after lunch we picked up one of the bikes these are available around the resort so you can use them as you see fit and drop them off when you're done this is smart in there this is smart in there. This is smart in there. We also visited a coffee shop every day. You can get your crepes from here and a bunch of various desserts. It was absolutely amazing. And I love the Irish coffee. It was my favorite. This is what we came for, the sun and the beach. We were soaking it up. And here are a few other things that we saw and heard while we were sitting there. We had a tour scheduled, so these were some of the things that we saw on our tour to Curacao, and this is our tour guide here. I just love the colors of Curacao. As we were on our tour, we were in front of the governor's car. She was touring the city of Peter Mai before she got to work. 
This is also some local art from the artist here. It's all over the walls. It is amazing, the creativity that we saw in Curacao. A little bit further down, we saw an artist restoring his work. He's a local artist here. You can find him on Instagram, Francis Slime. Then we headed to the Queen Emma Bridge. Right here, we found the Punda Love Hearts. They are made 100% out of locks. It was an amazing sight to see. And this is the Queen Emma Bridge. From here, you can walk from one side of the bridge to the other side. But what we did, because we had a tour guide driving us around, we went, took a couple of photos, but then headed back to see some of the souvenir shops that were available. And then we ultimately ended up driving around to the other side of the bridge. I wanted to find some local handmade souvenirs. That's the chichi there, which is a signature of Curacao. But we headed a little bit further down to a local artist shop where they made some handmade souvenirs. Hilma Coleman is one of them and you can find her on Instagram or you can also find Clemens off Curacao on Instagram or social media as well. But these were the some of the paintings that they did. They were absolutely beautiful. Now, these were some other handmade items that they have, turtles, spiders, things made out of coconut shells. There's also one other artist, Esther Caprino. She's open some from Saturdays to Thursdays, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. She makes items out of the calabash or gourds. So I did buy some ornaments from her, but she also makes jewelry. After we exited the shop, we went to see what other souvenirs were available and we found this unique art. Afterwards, we headed to see the Fort of Amsterdam. This is where the governor worked. Remember she was driving behind us? This is where she works here. Next, we went to visit one of the slave huts that was still remaining in Curacao. Then we visited the famous Klein Nip Beach. Parking was at a premium here, so either get dropped off or come early so that you can get a good parking spot. touring we were ready to get back to the resort we went to one of the restaurants Zuka the mushroom soup there was amazing so if you get a chance to visit Zuka go ahead and try out that mushroom soup the other entrees were amazing as well it's a beautiful view in Zuka and a beautiful feel as well while you're enjoying your vacation here are a couple other photos of our time at Sandals Royal Curacao. As always, reach out to me at Harris Cash Coach on all social media channels and subscribe for our other travel journeys across the United States, the East Coast, the West Coast, and the world.